2023 Chevrolet Camaro, 2023 Chevrolet Corvette 3LT at the Chicago Auto Show. Check it out. Lamborghini, folks. This is your competition for the Corvette Z06. What do you think? Do you like it? There's another Lamborghini. Hyundai Elantra in race livery at the 2023 Chicago Auto Show. Lamborghinis. Lamborghini Urus. What do you think? Should Lamborghini make an SUV? We all know what Corvette Dan thinks of that one. But that's just his opinion. The paint is beautiful. Rolls Royce Cullinan. Hope I said that right. That is one striking automobile. I will say that. And look at this Rolls Royce Phantom Extended. I promise you, folks, this car is worth more than Corvette Dan's house. But then again, it's worth more than two of his houses. Not very much. But enough. Rolls Royce Black Badge Ghost. Wow. This car is worth twice what my house is worth. That's another Rolls Royce. Do I know what it is? I do not. Drop a comment if you do. Bentley Continental GT. Bentley Flying Spur Hybrid. Bentley Bentega. Hope I got that right. Maserati. What do you think of that paint scheme, folks? That's kind of like a matte pearl, I'm going to say. $309,000, folks. I think I'll stick with my Corvettes. What do you think, folks? And a Maserati SUV. This is the Modena.
several Maseratis in the background, folks. Another Maserati SUV. And there's a big Maserati SUV. Oh, Bentley, I'm sorry. Right? Rolls-Royce. Here we go, folks. What a better way to finish off the exotics section at the Chicago Auto Show than with McLarens. What do you think of the McLarens, folks? Please click the bell. You'll be notified of my videos. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel. This is Corbett Dan, Chicago Auto Show. Happy Exotics. McLaren, the Chicago Auto Show 2023. Look at that stunning red. What do you think? It's beautiful. McLaren, the 2023 Chicago Auto Show in black. That black is sure shiny. What do you think of this one? You like it? 2023 Chicago Auto Show. We are at the muscle car display and vintage at the 2023 Chicago Auto Show, folks. Let's check it out. Super B. Big dollars, big dollars. Say what you want. Almost everyone likes these. And look at that iconic front end, folks. That's a beautiful car, folks. This thing is nicer than when it was new. Look at this car. Frank's car. And even us full-size humans can get into this one. Please do not touch. I don't remember ever seeing a display like this at the Chicago Auto Show. And I've been to this auto show over the years a few times. This is nice. What do you think? Nice change of pace from what I've been looking at the last few hours here. Do you like them? Look at this Chrysler. One of the letter cars, I believe. Ooh. We're going to get around to the front of these cars, folks. But this is a good look, too. Virtually uninterrupted by other humans. It is Monday, folks. We went on a day that we thought would be slow, and it is slow. Just not as slow as you might have wanted, or I would have wanted. That's okay.
there's something very interesting behind me. However, we're going to continue to look at these cars. That is beautiful. That paint is stunning. That paint is better than original, folks. Chrysler Imperial. I don't know if that's what you would call a letter car or not. I believe I stand corrected. Here's the front view of this pickup truck. That's beautiful. That's beautiful, folks. And another full-size human getting into a little bitty car. That's quite all right. Please click the bell to be notified of future videos. Stay tuned for a very special car. This is Corvette Dian. Thank you. 2023 Chevrolet Corvette E-Ray. Look at this beautiful Cadillac. 1959 Cadillac Eldorado at, believe it or not, the 2023 Chicago Auto Show. The nation's largest auto show. Self-described. By Chicago. This is beautiful, folks. Look at that paint. Do you like that color? It works on a Cadillac anyway. Would you own it? Would it even fit in your garage? That's beautiful. That is beautiful. And now for something completely different. An old Willie's Jeep. We'll get around to the front of these vehicles as well, folks. Busted Knuckle Garage. And an old Dodge van. I believe that's a Dodge. Correct me if I'm wrong. It may be. We'll find out. I have a friend with a mid-60s Dodge van. If this isn't a Dodge van, he's going to get on my case. Oh boy, am I wrong. This is a Chevrolet, folks. Slap me for calling it a Dodge. We'll get a front view. Corvair Greenbrier. Oh boy, I was way off. And there's a little bitty busted knuckle garage. Austin Bantam panel truck. Here's our little Willie's Overland CJ206 in the front of the beautiful Cadillac Eldorado 1959. That paint, I guarantee, is better than new. Please click the bell to be notified of future videos. We're dropping videos all week here at the, Corp at the 2023 Chicago Auto Show. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much. 2023 Chicago Auto Show. We are at the Kia display, folks. Let's take a walk through. You may drive a Kia as your daily. So let's give an overview of what you can see here at the Auto Show this year. I'm not really a fan of the Kias, folks, but to be honest with you, am I really a fan of much of anything anymore except for the Corvette? So I don't judge. Here's the flagship of the Kia lineup, the Stinger. Unfortunately for you Stinger fans, this is the last year of the Stinger. They will not be making it anymore. Some people like these. They're relatively quick. Do you remember what ex-race car driver did a uh, video, or, I mean a commercial for the Kia Stinger? Wait till the end, I will tell you what former race car driver did a commercial when the Stinger first came out. We'll share that at the end of this video. Stay tuned. Moving on to more Kias. And here we have the uh, the large SUV. This would be the Telluride. I bet it's $60,000. I'm close. It's fifty four, dollars folks. For that money, we know what I'm going to buy. 
we're going to add my third Corvette to the collection. With that kind of coin. The display is neat. What do you think? I'll give them credit for that display, folks. There's a little Kia. This looks like one of the entry level models. Is it electric or is it not electric? That is the question. How much is it, sir? 42. 42? Oh my. I was wrong. This is no entry level. Wow. Kia Nero, folks. What do you think? 42 and change. Let's check out the interior. Why not? What do you think? That is not leather? I can smell the vinyl. Is this one of those uh, hybrids? I'll let you decide. Or is it all electric? Let's go on to this one. Another Kia. People are generally courteous here today, which is why I'm doing my uh, best to not get in anyone's way. The Kia Nero EV. And this is $47,000. $47,000. Movement that inspires. Is that another stinger? Or like I like to call them, stinker. That's okay. No, this is the KS, or the K5. I have a friend that has one of these. He likes it. Good for him. It is the GT K5 2023, $37,000. Nice paint. And you too can drive a Kia, virtual. We'll do one better, folks. In April, we'll be doing our video of our Stingray at the NCM Motorsports Park. I hope she's having fun. What's this, the Soul? Kia does have a large display here. The Kia Soul GT, 25,000. That's a reasonably appraised car. Go White Sox. Here's a Kia. This one would be the Seltos. I do like the fact that most of the prices for the Kias are listed. Nice luggage rack on the top. Seltos XX X Turbo, 31,000. Another interesting display in the background. The Kia Nero EV, 47,000. The refreshed 2024 Seltos. No price listed. As we near the end of our Kia excursion here at the 2023 Chicago Auto Show, I ask again, do you know the name of the former race car driver who was in a commercial for the Stinger when it first came out. Well, I will give you the answer to that question. The former race car driver that was in the commercial for the Stinger when it first came out is another, none other than racing champion Emerson Fittipaldi, who was famous for drinking orange juice instead of milk when winning the Indy 500 drawing ire from most fans.
please click the bell you'll be notified i'm dropping videos of the auto show here 2023 chicago auto show stay tuned this is corvette dan thank you everyone hello everyone it's corvette dan we are at the lexus display at the 2023 chicago auto show let's check it out let's just walk through you may drive a Lexus as your daily, so you may want to see what they have to offer. Let's check it out. Some of you may say Lexus isn't really a daily. Well, it depends. That depends on how much you spend on cars and how much you have to spend. Was there a price on that one, Jason? Ninety thousand. There you go, folks. Ninety grand. I like that green, I will admit that. This is the Lexus GX 460. I do not see a price. Oh, I do see a price. Uh, 61.9. Okay. For a luxury SUV, that's reasonable, I would say. That's a wonderful green. That's another interesting color. This is the 2023 Lexus RX. This is the all new, according to Lexus. I'm not sure I like that front end. It might grow on me. It's bold. This looks like some kind of, oh, that's an interesting steering wheel. We're going to have to get a look at this. This is the Lexus RZ 450E. That is an interesting steering wheel there. Heading into some more of the sportier versions of Lexus. Let's just take a look. Let's look around here and see what we think. WeatherTech. We're a fan of WeatherTech. Oh, you're a Corvette fan, huh? So we had a debate. Um, so, what is it? The NSX over there, the other supercar? Mm -hmm. It said uh, 0 to 60 in, uh, I think, 2.9. Mm -hmm. where, where do the new Corvettes go? 2.5. Oh, you're right. We, we had an argument that the Corvettes were How a little much faster. Was it? Than How much was it? That one over there? Uh huh. Uh, I don't know the MSRP. That's it's, all. It's like right behind that silver SUV. It's clean. You also have to consider that too that the uh, competition for Corvette often costs three, four times as much. Yeah. And I mean, even as you go back years and even decades. Are you a Corvette? Do you have Corvettes? I have two Corvettes and a channel on YouTube. What year? Um, 14 and 99. It's called Corvette Dan. I'm going to sub right now. Let's go, baby. Wait. All right. Awesome. We I love YouTubers. All right. We are recording the Lexus booth. Please click the bell. You'll be notified of future videos. This is the LC500. This thing is extremely clean. This is like one of 300. This is a 2023. How much is it? Do you know? I, I don't look at MSRP because it's out of my price range. <laughs> Please click the but bell. I'm a fan. We will be dropping videos here all day. Until the next one, folks. Thank you very much. Hello, everybody. We have the 2023 Chicago Auto Show, and we are going to start 
with a Chevrolet display. What we have here is the first ever all-electric blazer. What do you think? What do you think of the first ever all-electric blazer? Laser EV. First ever all electric Silverado. Is there a price on that gentleman? No. Surprise. It's going to be over six, over six figures. I'm pretty sure you're right. It's beautiful though. Big smile on his face. Do you know what these will start at? Do you know how much these will start at? But they'll have one starting at just under 40? For the work truck. That's, it, that's uh, refreshing, thank you. So this will start at 105, folks, but they do have the base starting at just under 40. Similar to the GMC. I like that color. Oh, Super Cruise is now coming to Chevrolet. It's been a Cadillac only feature. Bolt. Little city car. The Chevy Bolt. I kind of like it. Let's get a look at the price on this. You can't see that, folks. This is 31000 for an electric vehicle. Not too bad. This is the Bolt EUV. Premier 37. This is what you would call the loaded version. You've got some room back there, folks, with the seats down. With the seat up, a six footer can fit back there. I'm going to see how tall the gentleman in the front seat was at the time. Uh, he's a good 5'10". Malibu. I believe GM's only remaining regular passenger car sedan for sale. Which means I like it. Corporate Dan is a car nut. He prefers cars. It's SUVs. But I understand. It's life. Most people own one for their dailies. Not me. $27,000 for an RS. In today's world, that's a good car for the money. And it's tried and true, folks. Stay tuned on this uh, video. You know what's coming, folks. Here's the first ever all-electric Equinox. All electric Chevrolet Equinox. Available in the fall of 2023, starting at around $30,000. Not bad. Not bad. I love the color. 
And what we've all been waiting for, folks, what we've all been waiting for is right here in front of us. The 2023 Chevrolet Corvette Z6, Z06, or as the rest of the world likes to say, Z06, even though that's a zero. But I digress. What do you think of this car? Carbon fiber wheels, carbon fiber ground effects package. This is no base, Z. I like it. I want one. I bet you do too. That's a beautiful car. I love the spoiler, folks. I love the spoiler. It's the 3LZ. It's only $168,000, folks. Here is a cutaway of the 6.2 liter engine in the Corvette Stingray. 495 horsepower, 470 foot pounds of torque. A cutaway. For those that might not know, that's a valve spring, that's a valve, that's a piston, that's the connecting rod, that's the crankshaft, that's the camshaft. Timing chains. Some of you are saying, duh, but that's okay. This channel's for everyone. And here we have a cutaway of the 5.5 liter VVT flat plane engine. That's wonderful. That's the cutaway, folks. That is one heck of an engine, folks. Check out my short of the complete engine on another video I dropped here at the, from the museum. Here we have the 2023 Corvette Stingray. 3LT convertible. 94,000 folks. Vehicles locked, unfortunately. But I have videos of inside the car for you. Check them out on my channel. What do you think of the white seats? They look nice. That paint is beautiful. That paint is nicer than the paint on my wife's Cadillac. And here it is, folks. What you've been waiting for, the Corvette E-Ray, starting at $105,000, $106,000. This one also looks to have the carbon fiber wheels, and it's a convertible. 2023 Chicago Auto Show. We are at the Ford display. Stay tuned. I have videos all week coming up. This is the Ford display. Please click the bell. You'll be notified for those videos. This is the Bronco, folks. Do you like it? Another Bronco. The Bronco Everglades, folks. People are lining up to sit in this one. 2.3 liter EcoBus, 300 horse, 325 foot pounds of torque. Bronco Everglades. People are liking to sit in this one. It looks cool. What do you think? No, that's not Corvette Dan doing a burn on in his Corvette, folks. That's a interactive display at the 2023 Chicago Auto Show. Here is a Bronco, more of the regular version. I have a neighbor with one. And Bronco accessories. Light bar, sound bar, ooh, Yetis. 
or facsimile thereof, color coded to match your vehicle. Bag, winch, special rims, spare carrier, special fenders, front, grill. Wow. The ultimate Bronco owner experience, folks. I don't know if you'll be able to scan this for my video, but we'll approach it and give you the chance. Please drop a comment and if you're able to scan that with your phone, I would appreciate it. Ooh, this is an interesting display, folks. There is quite a line for it. Maybe I could catch someone just coming out, ask them how long they waited. I'll ask my colleague, Jason, if he wants to uh, go to it. Jason, would you like to uh, do this? Maybe if the line goes down a little bit. Check it out for a second there while I take a video of these displays. Bronco mats, much like the WeatherTech floor mats. More accessories. I heard a gentleman say, let's go find the Mustang. That sounds like a good idea. Stay tuned in this video, folks. We are going to head towards the Mustang, as I'm sure there's one here. This is the big Bend Bronco, folks. Let's scan over here while we try to get a price. Did you see a price here? Yeah. 34910 I would say that's a reasonable price for a vehicle in today's market. And if you'd have told me 10 years ago, I would have said that. I would have said, you better go get the 10 panel at the local clinic because you're on something. But that's the market we live in today, folks. The Ford display is hopping. Look at this Bronco without a door. I have a feeling that this has removable doors for those adventurous types. And people are sitting in these things like there's no tomorrow. That is a large touchscreen display. There is a bike in the back. What do you think of this uh, vehicle, sir? It's beautiful. Yeah, you like it? How much is it, do you know? Forty grand? No, more than that. Yeah, I it's bet. A high trim. Wild Track's one of the highest. It is? Wild Track, you said? Okay. That is nice. I like it. I'm not normally an SUV guy, but to me this is a little more Jeepish. If you're a Ford person, I apologize for referring to a Ford is a Jeep-ish vehicle, but you get what I mean. And here we go to a more mundane Ford Edge. My father-in-law has a Ford Edge, and with all his vehicles, he maintains it to the highest levels. It's beautiful, considering it's already, I think, six years old. I love that paint. Ford is doing a really good job with their paint lately, as is a lot of other manufacturers. And this vehicle is priced at 47000 Ironically, I think that my father-in-law, and I'm sorry in advance, uh, father-in-law, if you get mad at me for saying this, but I think he paid for a nicely equipped 2016 Edge 30000 And here's the Explorer, the venerable Explorer. This vehicle has been around for decades, folks, and there's a reason for it. It has been a solid seller in the Ford lineup ever since its introduction. And I don't know what year that was. But let's get a price on this one for us, folks. As I scan over everything, the price on this vehicle is 59000 Wow. I'm sure that's uh, priced comparatively in the market, but I'm looking at Cadillac for that money. And here we have... Is this the Extended Explorer? I believe so. Let's take a look inside. May we? Were you going to go in? No. Are you sure? Okay. I don't want to take someone's spot. Let's check it out, folks. Let's get a gander at this ginormous touchscreen. Wow, that's large. How much is this vehicle there? Uh, how much? 55, 55,000. Someone has turned the uh, hazards on for some reason. Nope, and we cannot turn them off. We tried. I cannot get over the lack of 
shifter. That's just me, folks. That's the new thing. Leather seats, 55,000. It is a large SUV. I believe it's three row and has some room in the back. Um, I am six foot one and I sit relatively comfortable in this vehicle. Let's get out and let someone else have a look. No, oh, thank you. We appreciate it. Here's another interactive display at Ford. And another. Oh, this is looks like an extended. Is this Explorer still? Expedition. Wow. This is like the suburban fighter, if you will. And look at this truck. What a hot color that is. That's the little. Well, that's the. Uh, dare I say, is that the Maverick? That is the Ford Maverick, folks. Does anyone remember what name Maverick was on what particular type of Ford car? Well, I think I just gave it away. A Ford car. An entry level ish vehicle back in the 70s. I had a friend that had a Maverick. Let's check out the interior. Those are some soft seats and they appear to smell leather. It looks like an affordably priced vehicle, however. It's interesting. Don't know if you'll be able to scan this. Let me know if you can. Could you open that again for me, please? I appreciate it. And inside this, we have storage area. I thought it was something more. Thank you. I appreciate that. No problem. There looks like an accessory power unit. And some sliders for dual loading. Or just tether something. And let's head over to the Piece de Resistance. Ford Lightning. And from here, we can get an overview of some of the Chicago Auto Show. And some of the Ford cars on display. Mostly SUVs, but isn't that what every manufacturer is these days? And let's get us a look at the 2023 Ford Mustang GT. Let's try to get down at the same time. While focusing on the Ford. Not a bad job. That was harder than it looked, folks. Here is the 2023 Ford Mustang GT. Do you like it? In a way, in a way, it's kind of a competitor to the Corvette, but that really is more of a direct competitor to the Mustang. Convertible. It is a venerable five liter. And there's your interior, much improved over the years on these interiors. They're pretty much all vehicles. There are rumors about the future of the Mustang. Honestly, although I'm a Corvette guy, I really want the Mustang to continue. this blue folks what do you think another Mustang this looks to be the base Mustang but nowadays even base cars that are muscle cars start with 300 horsepower this is 35,000 say what you want but for that money I'm getting the GT
And that leaves us was true. You're right. With a Maki, folks. Ford Maverick Hybrid Maki. With an EPA estimated range of 500 miles, that Maverick can get you and your gear wherever you need to Check go. out. And Ford also has hybrid versions that in the RX-5, Explorer, and the F-150. That's large. So there is a hybrid ride for a range of needs and lifestyles. That's a small laptop, folks. Like full hybrids, plug-in hybrids also and that's have your a display. And could you get used motor, to that? I think I could. plug them in to charge the battery. So they go farther on battery power alone. If you need more range, the gas engine kicks in to Please check out the shortage drop of the Mach-E. The answer to question number two was all of the This above. is how you open one. So this is the Escape plug-in hybrid and it's been redesigned for 2023. And, and there's your engine. Gas Not. Gas, the Escape plug-in hybrid has an EPA estimated range of 482 miles on a single tank. So that means it could get you from here to any of those three spots I mentioned without stopping. Where plug-in hybrids are really great is when you're zipping around town. The Escape plug-in hybrid has an EPA estimated range of 37 miles on that battery power alone. So a lot of people could do that in their commutes and their local areas without using a single drop of gas. Now buckle your seatbelts. We're going to take a leap forward into the world of full electric vehicles. With incredible torque. Is that an electric Mustang, folks? Acceleration. They are propelled only by electric motors, and they're charged by plugging in at home or while you're on the go. In fact, most electric vehicle owners do 80% of their charging when they're at home. So it's kind of like leaving the house with a full tank of gas every day. So the answer to question three was hey. At a DC fast charging station, it takes just 45 minutes to charge the Mustang Mach-E extended range from 10% to 80%. Right over here is the all-electric 2023 Mustang Mach-E. And a full charge will get you an EPA estimated 312 miles. And that's on the extended range battery with the electric all-wheel drive. Let's check and out the Mustang. it's all-electric, you better believe it goes like hell. The zero to sixty. Here's your interior view, folks. Seconds, or as quick as the three point five seconds on this GT Performance Edition. Plus, you get access to the Global Charge Network, which is North America's largest with more I than like seventy-five thousand plus. You think? Mustang Mach-E is definitely a showstopper, but we are not just talking about our performance icons. We are also electrifying our famous utility vehicles, including the E-Transit and the legendary F-150 Lightning. There really is an electric out there for all different tastes. We hope we've inspired you and maybe given you some confidence to take the leap into the world of EVs. At Ford, we're not just working to improve technology, but to improve our customers' lives. And our rewarding ownership is one of the ways that we do that. We're going to take a look at how Ford is here for you with vehicle pickup and delivery. And here we have the midsize, the Ranger, Open up that door, Jason. Let's check it out. It's a nice vehicle, folks. Again. Is it possible you can scan off this? You'll find out. Let me know. Ranger, Ford, Ranger. A slow open would be nice, but solid. Ford has an impressive display at the 2023 Chicago Auto Show, folks. Impressive. It is locked, unfortunately. As you can see. Loaded for bear. Oh. 
That is one heavy duty vehicle, folks. It is locked. Ford is known for their pickup trucks, folks. And they have plenty here on display. Kind of missing that uh, special bed now, aren't you? I thought Ford would have that, didn't you? That's one heavy duty vehicle, but here's the Lightning, folks. Is this an electric pickup truck? It might be. Electric pickup truck. And there's your engine. Where's the engine? Oh, this is a battery, folks. So there you have it. The Ford display at the 2023 Chicago Auto Show. Please click the bell to be notified of future videos. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. This is Corvette Dan. I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Dodge. With that comes Stellantis and Jeep. Let's just walk through. Let's go over and walk towards the uh, Ram display. Let's check it out. Ah, the new organization that owns Dodge, Stellantis, considering Chrysler, Dodge, Alpha, Fiat, Jeep, Wagoneer, and Ram. of art. I worked for a toy designer. That was my first job. The tactility of touching something is so important. I collect things. It's like a museum. A little temporary stamp tickets. A reminder of so much that we create that never sees the light of day. Interior design has hundreds of parts and pieces coming together. We're always finding new and different materials 
We want to create interiors that are profound. Fox are first and foremost interior. And we looked at tools of inspiration and how different brands each fit a task. The Ram Revolution concept is all about pushing boundaries, user experience, color materials, look functionality, the expectation is flexibility and customization. That's crazy one looking. Of those things that adds That's probably the uh, funkiest looking truck here. Yeah. Is that something you want to do? Possibly. Let's walk that way. <laughs> As we continue to scan the Stellantis display. Head on over that way. Let's see if we can't get there. I'm gonna walk through these uh, performance dodges here for a second. See if we can't get a look at these. Look at that orange, folks. That's what they call the demon. That's what they call the demon, folks. That looks like a K&N filter to me. What do you think? That car is you, sir. Oh, yeah. I think someone in the passenger seat says, Dad, you need to go buy this car. <laughs> and look at this car. What is this? What is this? Daytona, it's called. This is called a Daytona. Now look at this. Is that funky? Or is that funky? Let's get a front view of that, folks. Can't quite get down there to see that. It's that low. Charger Daytona SRT concept. That is neat. That's something else. The paint is beautiful. Hornet? Are they calling something else the Hornet now? Do you like it? It looks neat. Starts at $29,995. All right, folks, we are going behind the scenes 
at the display, the Jeep display, the 2023 Chicago Auto Show. You, you go, I will follow. That way I don't have to worry about going in the wrong spot. We are behind the scenes, folks. You cannot go here when you're at the Chicago Auto Show. We're taking some views. The folks at Jeep have been gracious enough to allow us to do this. First hand look. Yes, that's the 392, folks. The Rubicon, it's got me really considering looking at one of these now. Let's watch it go up. Remember when we were on it? My previous video shows that. That's incredible, folks. They're lining up. Yeah, this is great. If you want to get like the suspension, you can go to the side right there. The we will after he comes down. I appreciate that. This is a wonderful display. Anyone who's considering Jeep needs to watch this video. I guarantee it. Yeah. I'm actually considering looking into that Jeep. That was really cool. That was really cool. Okay, let's move. Let's go see the suspension in action. Where, where do you think is best? Let's do that. That's great. This is good views. These are some real capable vehicles. I gotta hand it to Jeep. Here comes that 392 again, folks. That was some pretty hairy angles that we were on, and here's a better view of it for you. That's cool. And we'll get one last look here, folks. Let's wait for one more to come, folks. What do you think? This is uh, one of the best interactive displays, if not the best interactive display at the 2023 Chicago Auto Show, folks, is the Jeep display. Let's take a look. Let's move on. Okay. This must have taken days to set up. Look at this.
That's a real tree, folks. All right, let's wait for a vehicle to ascend, or descend in this case. That is one steep angle, folks. We got another one or yes we do let's get one more folks Okay, great. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'll just that's cut AUV, through here. That's a new AUV one right there. This one? All right, folks, there you have it. The interactive display, the 2023 Chicago Auto Show Jeep, Jeep Rubicon. 392 in one of these Jeeps, folks. That's incredible. That's incredible. Please click the bell. You'll be notified of future videos. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Scorvet Dan, I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Nikki Camaro at the 23 Chicago Auto Show in Chicago, obviously, at McCormick Place. Check it out. I've got all kinds of videos. They're coming. Some real cool ones, too. Stay tuned. 2011 Chevrolet Camaro SS with a built LSX motor at, believe it or not, the 2023 Chicago Auto Show at McCormick Place in downtown Chicago. Check it out. I've got lots of cool videos coming here, folks. Stay tuned. 2002 Chevrolet Camaro BC4 Police Package at the Chicago Auto Show in downtown Chicago at McCormick Place. Check out my channel. I've got lots of really cool videos coming. Stay tuned, everyone. Thank you so much. Maximum traction. 
Now, if you're looking for comfort and convenience, well, we definitely got you covered there too. 120.4 cubic feet of interior space to relax in, an 11.6 inch high resolution display with integrated Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and an available Harman Kardon premium audio system. Now we would invite you to get up close and get a closer look with this new alpine green color over here right on the floor. Feel free to hop inside and take a look. Also, while you're here in the display, take in all the beauty and tranquility of our display as it represents our long-standing partnership with the National Parks. And as part of our zero landfill efforts, you'll also see messaging throughout the display that'll let you know what Subaru is doing in the area of recycling. And don't forget to stop by the Subaru Loves Pet Display. I don't know if it'll make your heart feel a lot warmer just walking by it, but you never know. You might be meeting your new forever family member today. So we invite you to stop by there as well. We also have a ride and drive program at available at this show. You go one level down and you can take any one of our Subarus for a test drive today. And the exciting news there is that our all new Solterra is available, our new EV is available to take for a test drive as well. So we hope that you will find, well, first of all, love is out there and you can definitely find it in the all new 2024 Subaru Crosstrek because after all, love is what makes Subaru a Subaru. Thank you so much for your time and attention. We would be happy to answer any questions you have. We hope you have a great day. <laughs> 2023 Chicago Auto Show. We're at the Subaru display. Check out my video of the special video of the Subaru coming up. Definitely an interesting display, folks. The cross track. That's what we're going to be dropping a special video of the introduction of this model vehicle. Stay tuned. Keep that. Look out for that one. It's going to be coming. Or it's already on the video, depending on which one I drop first. But heading through the display, it's very interesting. Subaru loves pets, folks. They're taking a break now. This is the Outback, folks. We'll get an honest opinion from a consumer what he thinks of the interior of the Outback in a moment here. Got plenty of room in the back. Kind of a wagon, kind of an SUV. So Jason, tell us, what do you think of the Outback interior? Beautiful. You like it? It feels really nice. Yeah? Let's sit in the driver's seat for a second. Yeah, go ahead, sit in the driver's seat and let us know what you think. Well, Jason's checking out the driver's seat. We're just gonna scan around here and look at some of the interesting things. 
some of the claims Subaru makes in the vehicles. The pets aren't here right now. They have a pet display. I think they may even be uh, offering adoptions. I don't don't quote me on that for sure, but this is the Subaru display. It looks very like nature oriented. That's okay. Test drive a Subaru today. Will we test drive one? I don't know. We might. I can't promise that, folks, so don't uh, hold me on that. National Park theme, folks. So let's get an opinion of the dri driver's view of the Outback. What do you think of the driver's side? It's nice and comfortable. Yeah? I love it. You like it? Yeah. What do you think of the interior quality? Is it a leather? Or? It's kind of a, it's a leather. Um, not that suede, kind of like it was in the Singer. Yeah. But, um. But no, it's a very comfortable leather, and it just feels nice to sit in as well. These are popular vehicles, and they are well known. They've been nice, around I like for a while. Display on it as well. That's, that looks really nice, I think. Well, there you have it, folks. The Subaru Outback 2023 at the 2023 Chicago Auto Show. Stay tuned. I'm dropping all kinds of videos of the Auto Show here. It's Corvette Dan. Thank you very much. 2023 Dodge Charger SRT Daytona King Daytona at the 2023 Chicago Auto Show. Stay tuned. We're dropping videos on the show. A lot of interactive displays here too, folks. Let's head over towards the Buicks. They sell a lot of these in China. Really? Oh, yeah. Way more than the United States. China is Buick's biggest market. At one time, Buick was selling close to a million vehicles a year in China. They like them. They're smart. <laughs>
what a natural segue from Buick into GMC, folks. Yukon Denali. Look at that leather. What do you think of those rims, folks? There's certainly still room with third row seat down. And here's a behemoth GMC. AT4X. Paint is lovely. GM has come a long way with their paint in the last several decades, I would say. Comment if you remember the GM paint quality of, let's just say, the 80s. If you have any experience with that. And here's the famous multi-use bed. Look at that. Speakers and a sub, a USB. And a handle, and a grab handle. The GMC display. 2023 Chicago Auto Show.